Now let's give it up for uh, an always hesitant storyteller, <laughs> Luann, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have an ending. Um, but my, um, my dad was a health and phys ed teacher in the Philadelphia School District for 30 years. And when I was growing up, he told me to be anything I wanted to be, follow my passion, anything at all, except a health and physical education teacher. <laughs> so when I went off to college, I decided to become a health and physical education teacher. <laughs> and I stuck with that major for about two years before I switched. And it, it wasn't that I failed physiology that prompted me to change my major. It was that I also failed anatomy. And it was this class where they actually brought in live children, and we actually had to teach them. <laughs> and, and I was out at that point. Um, so I switched to speech communication in the hopes to prepare myself for um, story slams at one point in the future. <laughs> but I had so many credits in exercise and sports science that I decided to do a minor. And so I did this minor in exercise and sports science, and I met this awesome professor and I, in this class called Philosophy of Sport. So I took this class called Philosophy of Sport where you talk about things like, is the intentional foul in basketball unethical? <laughs> and has the United States hosted too many Olympic games? <laughs> and, and I loved this course and I did really well in it. So um, I graduated with my undergraduate degree and I decided to do a master's degree in philosophy of sport. So. Um, when you're a philosophy of sport major, and I, I was fortunate enough to get a teaching assistantship, you're also expected to teach the introductory exercise and sport activity classes that all students are required, required to take for graduation, which is pretty funny because like in May, I'm taking those classes, and then in August, they're like, well, what can you teach? And I'm like, no, oh, no, softball? And they're like, okay, here's your roster. So now I'm teaching the courses that I was taking two months ago. So, one of our big things that we also talked about in this major, besides like, is chess a sport? <laughs> was physical activity is a form of intelligence and knowledge and should be respected as such in an academic setting. And like, as a department, we changed our name from exercise and sport science to kinesiology to kind of like elevate the status and make it sound like a science. So, so and we, and we would like go around campus and we would get together in our group of, I think there were four of us in the major, and we would get together and we would we'd be like, I heard an engineering professor talking about how these were just easy credits. We'd be like, yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. This is about knowledge and intelligence. And we were all into this. So we're teaching these classes, and one of the classes that I had to teach was softball. And so um, I was teaching it one summer, and because this is about intelligence and knowledge and not just easy credits, this is a real course. This is not just 1.5 credits of throwing a ball around and having some fun. This is an academic course. So you have to come to my class, and you have to, you have to learn the difference between fast pitch and slow pitch. And you have to know the infield fly rule. And not only do you have to do those things, but I'm going to hit you some grounders. And if you don't field three out of five properly, I'm sorry, but your grade is not going to be that good. You know, and then you'd always have the argument of like, well, well, that's not fair because some people are better than others. And we'd be like, this was our big thing, like, yeah, but you go into a math classroom and some people are better than others, yeah. right? <laughs> Same thing. So I have this whole course put together with um, lessons, and, um, and I have a bunch of freshmen because it's a summer course, so a lot of kids that are like right off the boat from high school. And then I have um, one football player at this very big Central Pennsylvania University. One football player who you would think would be good at softball, but like, could not hit the ball. And then I have this one senior who'd been there forever, and he was like, you know, I'm 22 or 23, and he's like 26 or 27. He's like, a, he's like an 18th semester senior. And this is his final semester before he graduates. And he comes in, and you can tell that he's just like the cool guy. I can't remember his name, but he's a real tall, blonde guy. And, and I could tell that he did not respect this class. I don't know if it's because he didn't respect the exercise activity classes or he didn't respect me because he had seen me at the bar last weekend, but <laughs> I could tell he didn't respect it because he got a hit and he was on first base and, um, and he pulled out a cigarette and lit it up on first base <laughs> in the middle of my class. And I had to say, like, come on, you don't, you know, at least like do it while you're on the bench, not when you got a hit and you're on first base. And the other way that I could tell that he didn't respect the class 
was because he didn't show up for like 15 classes in a row. <laughs> and in a summer course where you're meeting every day, that's, that's quite a bit. So I had written him off at this point. And we're at the end of the course, and, um, and we're administering the written final, again, because this is a legitimate course, not just an easy credit. The, the students have been there are taking the written final. And this guy comes sauntering onto the field, like 20 minutes after class starts, and he wants to take the final. And I said to him, listen, there's no point in your even doing this. You haven't been here all semester, never mind the smoking. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way that you can pass this class. And he's like, what? but I need this. This is my last semester. Like, I need this class to graduate. I'm like, well, good for you, but you should have come to the class. There's nothing you can do now. He's like, oh, I'm going to get my lawyer, and I'm going to get, I have like a medical excuse and all this stuff. And I was like, I, buddy, just, it's done. There's nothing you can do. So, um, so I gave him an F, and he didn't pass the class. And I looked over my shoulder for like three semesters, worrying <laughs> that he was stalking me. But you know, in the back of my mind today, I'm like, there's some guy at an entry level job where he's been for 20 years who can't get any higher because he did not respect the exercise and sport activity credit, and he's 1.5 credits short from graduating. <laughs>